This is the solution to written homework three. Uh, we have a limit of a rational function, the ratio of two polynomials. The limit is at x is four. I can see immediately that the denominator is zero at the limit. Uh, it's not clear if the numerator is zero. So if it ends up being some non-zero <coughs> value over zero, then the correct response is that the limit doesn't exist. Because in this case, it's not a one-sided limit like it is in part B. So this is how we're supposed to respond to such an exercise. Uh, if, on the other hand, it ends up being in the indeterminate form 0 divided by 0, then we have to do some cancellation work. <clears throat> because if the numerator also evaluates to 0, by the fundamental theorem of algebra, algebra, that will mean that x minus 4 is also a factor of the numerator. So the quickest way to check that is with Horner's scheme, or Horner's method to evaluate a polynomial. Because that allows us to do two things simultaneously. We can evaluate the numerator at 4. And in the case that it evaluates to 0, it also factors the numerator. <clears throat> so writing the coefficients, 1, 6, negative 28, negative 48. And then we want to evaluate at 4. So the way Horner's method works <clears throat> is that the leading coefficient always drops straight down. Escape the house, but now that one is outside of the house, it wants to come back in. So in order to come back in, four is guarding the door. So when one comes back in, it gets multiplied by four. And when it does that, it becomes four. So now you add this column. So adding this column together, you get 10. So 10 made it outside of the house. But now 10 wants to get back in. <clears throat> and to get back in, 4 is guarding the door. So when 10 comes back in, it comes back in as 40. Now you add this column. So when you add, when you add these together, you get 12. So 12 made it outside of the house. But now 12 wants to get back in and 4 is guarding the door so 12 gets when 12 comes back in it gets multiplied by 4 to become 48 and then negative 48 plus 48 is 0 and we're so happy about this that we're gonna make it a smiley face so that's telling us as a result of that 0 right there that's telling us that x cubed plus 6x squared minus 28x minus 48 actually factors, and x minus 4 is one of the factors. So x minus 4 is a factor. And Horner's method also tells us what the other factor is from these numbers. So that's x squared plus 10x plus 12. <clears throat> so that means that 
the fact that we got this zero right here in this exercise means that the limit is indeterminate. So it doesn't fall in this case. So as a result, the limit that we need to evaluate is actually the limit as x goes to 4 of x minus 4 multiplied by x squared plus 10x plus 12 and then this divided by x minus 4 and now that the limit is written in this way it's clear why it's indeterminate because we have these factors x minus 4 in numerator and denominator so they can be canceled so this is the limit as x goes to 4 of x to <laughs> so, somehow this became a 6 somehow this is a 6 <clears throat> amazing so <laughs> both of these should be 2's so this needs to be a 2 and this a 2 okay, so now x squared plus 10x plus 12 and so now this limit is no longer indeterminate and we can just evaluate it at the limit point now so this would be 16 plus 40 plus 12 which is 28 plus 40 so that's 68 is the answer to the first part A so part B <coughs> it's clear that the numerator evaluates to something positive something negative and then zero so there's non-zero in the numerator so it's non-zero in the numerator over zero and it's one-sided which mean which it which is what this negative superscript means it means that we're approaching from the left so for these ones we're, we attempt to evaluate what actually happens at the limit does it become positive infinite or negative infinite so these two together are telling us <clears throat> that the answer is going to be negative infinite or positive infinite and what we need to do is determine which of these is the case so we're going to do the change of variables we're going to say that x is the limit point 6 plus h and we're going to say that h is going to 0 from the left so <clears throat> this change of variables is always the same the limit point always goes here and then it's always plus h with h going to 0 and the sidedness of h is the same as this So these, these two are the only things that change. But we're splitting out where we're going and how we're getting there. So the new limit is the limit as h goes to 0 from the left. And now we will replace all of the x's with 6 plus h. So this will be 6 plus h minus 3 multiplied by 6 plus h minus 10 divided by 
6 plus h minus 6. And then a little bit of simplification. The limit as h goes to 0 from the left. Of, so 6 minus 3, <coughs> that will be 3. So that will be h minus 3. And 6 minus 10 is negative 4. So this will be h minus 4. And this one, 6 minus 3 is positive 3. So this should be positive 3. And then the denominator, 6 minus 6 is 0. And we just have h. So now, what this change of coordinates right here allows us to do is we can see, OK, when, when h is 0, this will be 3, and this will be negative 4. So 3 over negative 4, and then over 0. So this is the form that it's in. It's not equal to this, but this is the form that it's in. So you can see it's non-zero over 0. And we consider the SIGN of each expression. So 3 is always going to be positive. Negative 4 is negative. Now, 0 doesn't have uh, an SIGN. It's not positive. It's not negative. But in the limit, h is going to 0 from the left, which means that h is going to get arbitrarily close to 0 but not at 0, and it's always going to be to the left, which means that the SIGN of h is negative. And so now the overall SIGN of this expression is positive because the negatives cancel. So that means that at the beginning of this exercise, when we, when we said, ah, it needs to be negative infinity or positive infinity, because it's non-zero over zero, we've now determined that it must be positive infinity. So therefore, the answer is positive infinite.